Bob Morris, and I work with Mills to work at Conrad Weiser Homestead. So today I'll portray Conrad Weiser. Uh, the reason we're doing this is because back in the 1600s and the 1700s and the early settlers, you didn't have any roads of any value. So all the transportation, or a majority of the transportation, was either done on an Indian trail or the uh, waterways. And the Germans who settled Wunstorf in the Tulpehopen region came down from New York uh, on the Susquehanna. They traveled uh, 40 miles a day, 30 to 40 miles a day, covering the 400 miles in about uh, 15 days, and they settled this area. But when they got down to Harrisburg, they made a left turn and they came up to Squatty. So what you're paddling today is what your ancestors saw back in 1723. And then Conrad Weiser followed in 1729. But uh, that's, that's the reason we're here today, or the reason I'm here today. And I would suggest that as you paddle today and tomorrow, you would try to imagine no airplanes in the sky, no bridges, no houses, uh, no trash, just per perhaps uh, some wildlife and maybe an occasional Indian village from time to time. And imagine uh, coming down here as Conrad Weiser did with a wife and four kids, piling them in a canoe in 1729. There's no 7-Elevens, there's no uh, pizza places, nothing like that. When you got to the end of the day, you didn't have any food, you had to hunt your food, you had to build a fire, you had to cook, and then you had another 30 miles the next day on the river. So it, was, it wasn't easy to live, it wasn't easy to, to manage. It's amazing what these people have done. I'd like to go back a little bit, uh, you go back to France in uh, 1598, and uh, Calvin and the gang, the Protestants, were up and in, in, uh, rising. And of course, France was Catholic, so that didn't go over so well. You had a lot of religious strife. So King Henry, in 1598, uh, instituted the Edict of Nantes. And the Edict of Nantes allowed the Protestants or the French Huguenots to exist uh, without persecution. And for about 100 years, this was a pretty good deal. It worked fine. But then Louis XIV comes along. Now, some people say that Louis XIV uh, was responsible. Some say it was his wife that was responsible. But, of course, Louis was the king, so on the head that, that lies the crown is the responsibility. He revoked the Edict of Nantes and pretty much declared...